and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing the difference between electrochemiluminescence and chemiluminescence. Both of these are fascinating phenomena that involve the emission of light through chemical reactions. However, the way they occur is quite different. So, let's dive into it. What is chemiluminescence? Chemiluminescence is a process where light is emitted as a result of a chemical reaction. In this process, chemical energy is converted directly into light energy. This happens when a chemical reaction releases energy in the form of excited molecules, which then relax and release energy as light. One example of this is glow sticks, where the chemical reaction between hydrogen peroxide and a fluorescent dye produces light. What is electrochemiluminescence? Electrochemiluminescence is a similar process to chemiluminescence, but with one key difference, it involves an electrochemical reaction. This means that the chemical reaction is driven by electricity, rather than simply occurring spontaneously. In this process, an electric current is applied to a solution containing a luminophore, a molecule that emits light, and a reductant. The electric current causes the reductant to reduce the luminophore, exciting it and causing it to emit light. Differences between the two The main difference between chemiluminescence and electrochemiluminescence is the driving force behind the chemical reaction. Chemiluminescence occurs spontaneously, without any external energy input. On the other hand, electrochemiluminescence requires an electric current to be applied to the system. Another difference between the two is the type of reaction that is involved. Chemiluminescence involves a chemical reaction, whereas electrochemiluminescence involves an electrochemical reaction. Applications Both chemiluminescence and electrochemiluminescence have important applications in various fields. Chemiluminescence is commonly used in forensics, such as in bloodstain analysis and in biomedical research, such as in detecting specific molecules in cells. Electrochemiluminescence is used in clinical diagnostics, particularly in immunoassays, where it is used to detect the presence of specific proteins or antibodies in blood or other bodily fluids. In conclusion, while both chemiluminescence and electrochemiluminescence involve the emission of light through chemical reactions, the key difference between the two is the driving force behind the reaction. Chemiluminescence occurs spontaneously, while electrochemiluminescence requires an electric current. Both phenomena have important applications in various fields, from forensics to clinical diagnostics. Thank you for watching.